Hello and welcome everybody to Camping Buddies, the podcast where we'd like to talk about a whole bunch of random shit and our hot takes on them. Uh, the first thing we wanted to talk about today was Astro World, and Alyssa's is probably the most knowledgeable thing about it, or knowledgeable thing, knowledgeable, <laughs> knowledgeable <laughs> person <laughs> about it. Uh, so, um, uh, I don't know if that's true, but anyways, um. It is what Friday or Saturday of last weekend? Yeah, you're already when... fucking up. You can't even tell the story. Oh goodness! <laughs> All right, you can take over. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no, no! I insist. I insist. <laughs> After, okay. Anyways, um, so it was last week, and it was Astro World. You know, it was Travis Scott, and um, he. There were about eight deaths, I believe. In, yeah, after everything and over 300 injuries um multiple people hospitalized had to stay for over five days um it all started with like people first like breaking down uh the fence and sneaking in running past the security to get in so it was already sold out and then overpopulated from the extra people that snuck in and then the first, like, stampede issue was for the merch at, like, 2 p.m. Um, and then after that was when Travis Scott first started performing. Like, within 30 seconds, you could hear people shouting for help. Like, Jesus Christ. So people tried to people get as in. close to the stage and pushing each other down and not caring if someone fell and so it was like piles of people like someone would fall someone would fall on top of them and on top of them like dominoes and crushed yeah, no oh the videos that came out are heartbreaking i saw like a little remember? kid getting crushed he had to get hospitalized and he's like put into a coma so he can recover faster Oh, Jesus. Yeah, so I heard that the youngest person to die was like a 14 year old. Yeah, 14. But I'm I'm confused. I thought it was like an 18 plus event. Um, probably snuck not, in. Probably snuck in, or I'm, I'm actually not was sure it if it was an 18 plus. plus. Um, it just seems of... like something that would be 18 plus, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, I can, I can imagine. And it would Travis be. Scott encourages his crowds to go absolutely ridiculous and be unsafe towards each other like he tells them to go and act crazy and do dumb shit hmm. and people were jumping up on like where the cameramen are to record for the event we're jumping up there and telling the cameramen that people are dead in the crowd stop the show and they weren't and travis scott was watching people get pulled out of the crowd and then stop the show what the fuck and i mean Kylie Jenner on her Insta story had a video of the crowd, like, you know, trying to show off how many people were there, but in the middle of the crowd was an ambulance trying to get through to help people. And she took it what down because fuck? she's an idiot. She could have done something to Wait, help. Are they still sooner. dating? Yeah. What? Pretty sure they're having another kid. Oh, oh shit. Another, another kid? They have a kid? They did have a kid, huh? Yeah. Wow. I didn't know that. I really just don't care about Travis Scott. Yeah. I don't listen to any of his music. Yeah, I'm, I'm honestly relevant. surprised. Like, it was such a fucking disaster because I didn't think that many people cared that much about Travis Scott. I guess so. And, like, I... all of his other Astro World um, shows, like, throughout the years, the same energy, just not casualties, luckily, until now. But he always wants his crowd to do dumb shit. Tells them, oh, I think he told someone to jump off a balcony in one of his concerts before. What? They were on like the one of the balcony seats in like one of those um, normal concert areas, mm -hmm. and um, he told the guy to jump off the balcony, and he broke his legs. The Jesus fuck? Christ! Yeah. If he wants fucking crazy, do another fucking Fortnite event. Don't make all these people do crazy. Yeah, what in yeah. the fuck, man? Like I was just thinking, about build that. a sky base like... and jump off. <laughs> <laughs> no chug jug okay. just jump <laughs> just jump and just jump you fucking hell you got a bounce pad 
<laughs> That's fucking awful, dude. Dude, fucking. Yeah. I mean, I I was like, so with the whole Alec Baldwin thing, like there were like people on Twitter who for some reason wanted to blame him for that, you know? But, Why would like, they have an, a loaded, let alone real gun on set? Right. Oh, but yeah. that's also not fucking Alec Baldwin's fault. It's like, Why would they trust he's, he's an actor, actor with a gun? Why do they have a gun? With, why do they have live rounds anywhere near a prop set? Seriously, like it, yeah. it made no sense. But I don't it, think it, it was a live round. I think there was an issue with the. No, it was the, so it was. was it, it was really? called yeah. It was called cold, which means that it wasn't even supposed to have a a uh, like a, a one a regular round for sure, or even a, uh, a like blank. a blank or something. Yeah, it wasn't supposed to have a blank either. It's just going to be a cold gun. But, like, and an actual was, bullet came out? Yeah, so... Three times on the set, which I wasn't even going to talk about this, but I guess I'll explain it a little bit now. Um, three times on the set of that fucking movie, they called the gun cold, and it wasn't. They actually <sighs> shot live rounds, and you would think after the first fucking time they'd be more on top of it. But on that third tragic time, Alec Baldwin was unholstering this cold gun, and it shot through the uh through fuck, i forgot what she actually did but um it shot through uh the first victim i forgot her name and what into like the director's shoulder helena oh hutchinson hutchins yeah yeah hutchins i i don't know what, what her uh purpose on the set was though but apparently she was like, a cinematographer yeah, apparently during this entire fucking thing was just an entire shit show. Like, there's a lot of people leaving the set because, like, it was just horrible conditions in general. And this was no exception. Like, there was just a lot of fucking neglectful, negligent bullshit on the, shit, on the set. Like, apparently, uh, the person who's supposed to check, like, the first initial person that's supposed to check the gun, because it's supposed to go through multiple people on different checks... And it's it baffles me that this happened with that many checks, but um, they were they would offset just be shooting the gun because they were shooting it in the middle of a desert, and they'd be shooting live rounds out of the gun. So were they shooting it like while filming? He was Had rehearsing. Shot it yet? He shot at the camera, and it went through and killed the cinematographer. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. He he like he was he, he didn't even like try to shoot yet. He was just unholstering it and it shot uh-huh. like right oh there. Gosh. So so was this director was she like a high end like well respected director? Or... No, but it was it was still like okay. a fucking I mean the director's alive. This is a cinematographer. Yeah. Okay. The director got hurt by the bullet cuz like it went through her into the director. Right. Which was just fucking tragic. But, like, as I was trying to say, though, like, with the fucking, um, what's it called? People on Twitter were trying to, like, blame Alec Baldwin, like, as if it had anything. Not even close to his him. fault. Yeah, it's nowhere near his fucking fault. You can only imagine. It's not his fault, but, fa- like, cold or hot alone, you should respect a firearm without, I don't know, I don't understand the circumstance of what he was, uh, rehearsing. I don't know if he was just, like, pointing and shooting or something, but... Yeah, no one should have even real been in his fire. way. No one should have even been anywhere near in his way. Like they should have had like a camera on like a string or some shit like that. Something yeah, it like should that. have more. Res- yeah, a little more careful with any firearm. Like, with the with how like bullshit the set was in general, I'm sure he was also like in a very fuck it mood because like it was all just going to shit anyway. Um. So I mean, I I seriously don't blame Alec Baldwin. Uh, I think he might have had like a small part to play in what happened, but I also feel as though there's no shot like he's anywhere near to blame for the negligence. If anything, it's uh, the not. all the different checks and shit like that. Yeah, all the the prop um, people, prop handlers and shit like that. Well, like uh, my question: but... Did they intend on have like? Were they intentionally going to use actual live rounds? No, that's like the thing. Like they were all supposed to be blanks. In like... They probably could if they're shooting like a car or, in this case, like a building or something. Right. right. But uh, So, yeah, so looking into it a little bit more, 
like the that is the only reason live rounds are anywhere near the prop is because <clears throat> for like certain scenes that people don't want to like edit like the flashing and the sound for okay. or shit like that um and you can't really use like a uh fucking i, I keep forgetting a blank I mean blinks uh, do that blinks do the whole blinks, blinks muzzle do flash that. that's why i'm like really fucking confused but like apparently just even more realistic obviously is an actual bullet uh but i still really don't see the fucking point in doing that shit at all it made no sense to me but that right. wasn't even like the point i was trying to make like people were trying to blame alec baldwin for what had happened and like uh after i heard about like what had happened to astro world i didn't know like how involved like travis scott could have been and i'm like right. holy fuck someone needs to fry this guy like like this this is absolutely something he could have prevented at least like definitely of it. and yeah. it's just it, it should have been no casualties and then right, i went you... to a suicide boys concert um that same weekend Jealous. and um they were telling people not to be too crazy in the crowds and everything. Like, they were actively trying to prevent something like Astro World, which is what Travis Scott could have done at any point. It was that was after Astro World, right? Yeah. Okay, so they didn't obviously they didn't want the same thing, but people were also saying like, oh, they do that at all their shows. Really? Yeah. Oh, I thought they'd be the opposite. Like, I thought they like in, try to encourage like mosh pits. Well, they definitely pits. told people to do mosh pits, one hundred percent. But they were like, "Hey, calm down. We don't want people getting knocked over." You know, like that's just a bit like, much. Supervising like if, over it. If if it was like in a like a like a smaller crowd and limited amount of people in there, it would be somewhat safe. That's not an excuse to go fucking ham on a concert, but. It would have been more yeah. safer if, like, a shit ton of people didn't sneak in. Yeah. Yeah, like, how it's many just... people were at Astro World? Um, I don't know how much, but it was sold out, so it the maximum... Like fucking 10,000. Yeah, the maximum Square. they allow, plus the ones that snuck in. Yeah. Jesus, thank God there's no mosh pits yeah. in a fucking theater, Hector. <laughs> we're, we're a little bit safer. I mean, imagine just the bar fights in the background. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> shard of glass. Everybody moshing your gamer chairs right now. <laughs> <laughs> moshing your fucking gaming chairs. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fucking <laughs> VR chat. <laughs> Mosh with your yeah. cat. We're safe. Oh, that'd be lit. <laughs> <laughs> just beating the shit out of your cat. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, so, I mean, on top of the tragedy that did befall Astroworld and shit like that, uh, Travis Scott actually did release a an apology video, which I have not seen, but I've seen memes about. And yeah, I've only seen snippets. I've only seen snippets. Was it, did it seem genuine even in the slightest? No, not at all. Yeah. Well, uh... I don't know. Has anyone actually seen the video? Kelly, did you see it? Nope. I have not. I only saw memes. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm, I was just going to segue into this shit then. Um, it's like it's eight just, and a half minutes long. Oh, no, it's not. I don't feel like that's long enough for eight people dead. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah. Um, the fucking... So... His apology video is so ass. I actually really wanted to compare it and segue it this way, uh, as far as I know, to the fucking metaverse ads that Mark Zuckerberg is in. <laughs> like, it's so. He's not fucking human. It is so gross. In oh, the time of the screen. he's literally a fucking oh. robot. Yeah. He, yeah. Now you so, know what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was really confused on what you guys were talking about metaverse. I thought it was like a DC like new no. like universe <laughs> no, thing. I was no, like, what no, the no, fuck no. is this? No, no, but no, Meta no. is the new Facebook name, and he's like, I think this is like is. Is that, I don't think that's no. what it is. I think it's something different. So the father company of Facebook is Meta. Yeah, 
and Facebook's still staying Facebook, but now there's the metaverse, which is going to be infused with Facebook, pretty much. I mean, it's still all under Mark Zuckerberg. But that makes like, zero sense to me. So Facebook's uh, father company's name was Facebook. Right. And now it is metaverse, or meta, or whatever. And but Facebook's keeping the name. Were they, was it bought out, or? No, no, no. So basically he's like brand he's like making it a big ass tree so like the the Um, actual girth of the tree is meta the branch is uh facebook oh and meta is gonna Mm -hmm. own like other things yeah so they're making what's known as the metaverse which i think is really cool if facebook wasn't doing it um (laughs) it's basically the oasis or like vr chat but better i saw like uh instagram posts like someone was saying their like theory on what it's actually going to be and he said like people are saying it's going to be like the oasis from ready player one but it's really not and he was saying some weird and confusing shit that honestly i don't really understand like metaverse is a point in time like the best point in time of your life or something that's something like that that's That's scary It's Zuckerberg knows all. He'll take you back so, to those flat days. It's really confused. I mean, I think he said like, um, like work in factories goes to work on computers, and break rooms go to Zoom calls or Zoom right. rooms or whatever shit like that. And honestly, I really don't understand what metaverse is going so... to be. Right. Or what so they... another thing that he was talking about is that if you like can't make it to work, your digital self still can. So uh, like, you can still oh, like fuck. VR chat at fucking work, like fuck you're in a meeting and you're that. fucking Ugandan knuckles. <laughs> so like it's, it's like VR chat commercialized into like yeah yeah exactly businesses, it's... so corporations can fucking use them. Yeah, basically. So if your physical body can't go into your physical work, then... Your digital self can. If you're, like, having a meeting or something like that, just imagine, like, the fucking holograms from Star Wars, like, that just sit in the chairs, you know? It's kind of like that. Like actual, like, holograms <laughs> or whatever? Um, no, I, I, I imagine, like, they're just gonna have, like, a little fucking screen on wheels and that's your little digital Dude, that's, self. <laughs> they've been doing that for like 15 fucking years. That's no crazy <laughs> new invention. What the fuck? What, what is a crazy new There's been new conference invention? calls before. What, what's like really, really funny, uh, if you go to the Metaverse website uh, and says, look, and there's like a link that says, look at all the cool stuff we're bringing to you guys right now. The only thing under that is the Quest 2. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so that's pretty nice. Um, the the one thing that I am really excited for, which might make the metaverse actually worth uh looking into, like a like a lot, is um the augmented reality glasses. So you remember like Google Glass, like way back when, yeah. when they were talking about that. Basically, now they're actually doing that. Um, like better. Yeah, so the concern why they didn't go through with it with Google was like safety reason, I'm guessing. Well, they uh, they did have the Google glasses. Right? They had like prototypes. Oh. I don't think they ever actually had oh. the glasses. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Um but Facebook is like making it to where like this is something like you're going to want in your everyday life uh so that you can go in and out of the metaverse as you please. And all I can think about is fucking SAO because of fucking uh, Zuckerberg is just like, all, I am your god now. All I think is cyberpunk, like cyberpunk 2077, where it's like the dark future and people go fucking fry your brains and download your memories and stuff. That's what, I'm, just, sa- that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, it's horrible. super, like... I would like this idea if it really wasn't Facebook. I can only imagine how bad this is going to be because it's Facebook. I, I think, think a lot of people don't trust Facebook. Like, I think they're it'll just be like because of all that stealing information and like, yeah, 
I mean, the, well, I think know, there's no escaping that, no matter who or what it is. Yeah. Things True. are just getting worse with that. Like, there's gonna be, like, more genuine people than fucking corporate Facebook that are gonna try to protect your shit, but I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of, like, fucking crazy markets, like, on the black market for your information for whatever fucking mm-hmm. reason they're gonna find a way to get it. I got a um, feeling that eventually there's just going to be complete transparency with everyone and everything. I don't know if that's for the better. Whether, I mean, whether anyone is, wants it or not. It's not. Right. It's not, yeah. I don't know, yeah. I don't, know. I don't see um, the convenience in any of it, except that it's new and high-tech. It's just, it seems depressing to me that people can just walk in and out of reality without talking to anyone. It's just, it's kind of scary. I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's like the comparable with the Oasis. Like they close the Oasis every like what Tuesday and Thursday or some shit like that. They said, uh, if yeah, Zuckerberg, yeah. if Zuckerberg doesn't give a shit about money for those days, maybe he'll do it. Maybe he does have a heart. Does he have a kid? I feel bad for that kid. He's mm? no, I think, yeah, I think he does. Let me look that really? up. Really He's, he has a wife. How... Yeah. Or did he just like clone his own baby? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> probably did mm. I think he's just so I think he is like discontinued from reality himself he has two kids what two three kids they have how many fucking kids like does he have he, His, that as well. he has an he has an Asian wife Oh, which I was I also wasn't expecting. Um Are you racist? Looks so old. No, not racist. <laughs> just, I'm surprised she actually found a soul in this man. Uh, I mean, she, obviously way. she's held captive, right? He looks like a lizard. He literally looks like a lizard. <laughs> His man. eyes look different. I mean, if you look at past pictures of him, he looks like uh, like a person you walk by. This looks like a computer like generated like uh, a uh, uh, the, the right? What's that? The NPC? What, if, what if Mark Zuckerberg is the final pro, like the final boss of the metaverse? Oh my god, he's like, <laughs> like he's the physical d- and digital. Like you know how like in Tron Legacy, how he brought that girl out of Tron Legacy into the real world. That is Mark Zuckerberg. He was like birthed in Tron or some shit like that. <laughs> he's probably father. I have a. Or what if like. Like the actual physical Mark Zuckerberg is a prototype of like an android that he made like fucking five, ten years <laughs> yeah. ago. He's like a fucking simulac. And the real one has been like just hiding in a fucking room, just like, I don't know, controlling it or like developing Facebook. it or improving it. He's like just writing code for Facebook shit. the entire time. <laughs> He's just fucking <laughs> wired up and shit to his chair, living yeah. forever. Oh my god. He's like uh, Mr. House from Fallout New Vegas. He's like a like a like a really old guy, like sitting to the fucking machine. And all I see is this android. He's moving around. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! But if you look at his eyes, it looks a bit uncanny valley. That's what I was trying to say earlier. Uncanny valley. So if it's like. It's like the border in between reality, like what you would normally see in a person's face that looks familiar in a cartoon. And it's like in between, it doesn't look right at all. It looks scary to us. It kind of looks like they photoshopped his fucking eyes. Like, you know, those like ninja crying eyes that they put on stuff sometimes. (laughs) Yeah, that's that's what it kind of looks like. I cannot believe he has children and his children look normal, so obviously they're not his. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> they're like they are like oh, heavy to so. no but like they're like heavy taking after their mother like i don't see any resemblance to mark zuckerberg here they're of flesh and blood they're flesh of and blood. bolts and <laughs> wires <laughs> <laughs> well there's a chip shortage right now so that's why he doesn't have more kids <laughs> it's, <laughs> <shortage>. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard to get that 30 90 <laughs> Jesus, so fucking bad. I wonder if Mark Zuckerberg is so insensitive. I wonder if Mark Zuckerberg like sits every up every night 
like just looking at all these like podcasts and like videos of how they like theorize right? that he's a robot and he's just sitting there like they know the truth and his wife's like come to bed <laughs> sweetie not yeah, like he has like his, his, his eyes like, he's like just just staring off like just like staring off blankly his wife's like come to bed sweetie and like switches up he like accidentally uses the robot voice (laughs) (laughs) he's like yes dear what was that (laughs) yes dear (laughs) oh my (laughs) fuck I wonder if like hearing shit like this like hearing people talk about him like this, like really gets on him, you know. I I hope is, not. Like, is he insecure about all this shit? I don't know. He makes it probably. So, like, he did. Make he probably it cries a point. every night if he has those <laughs> kind of feelings. I mean, I don't know if I'd be crying if I was like the owner of one of the richest corporations in fucking True. history. I mean, I, I think put- he's only. I think him. I think the top three is him, Elon, and Bezos, right? Yes. I mean, there's Buffett, too. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure Elon surpassed all of them, like, tenfold not long ago. Bezos? No, I think Bezos is still the richest man Let's see. on, on Earth. I'm pretty sure. Let me look that up really quick. On Earth. On Earth. On Earth. On I feel Earth. like some, like... Persian prince is the richest man on earth or something. Oh, so yeah, no, it is Elon Musk. Uh, he says yeah. it is 278.7 billion in wealth. Jesus. Huh. He kind of came out of nowhere compared to Mark Zuckerberg. Like, Elon Musk, he was like an, like an inventor or designer or something like that. I mean, he was always like there, he but actually... a little more in the background until... A few yeah. years ago, like when he started Tesla, is when he started to really come up. So, fun fact: he actually did not start Tesla. He bought Tesla, um, and made it what it what, is like today. Like, just funded it and blew it up. But, so, like, the idea of the electric car has been around for like a really, really long time. So, there are like right. old, old Teslas, um, but they weren't selling. It was like the DeLorean; like, it was impractical at the time because it cost more to make them than it then you would actually sell them. Mm-hmm. Um, and so he bought this company that was like literally like dirt fucking poor because no one was buying them and made it what it is today. And he got really lucky with it. And like, he I'm just sure he like appealing. improved it. He, yeah. You know, well, I don't know. I don't know if Elon is like actually Not like a genius. He yeah, paid people to improve it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I don't know if Elon is like a genius of any sort. Like, I don't know if he's really like he's just got the money. Yeah, yeah. He he did like a speech a while back, not a speech, but like he he talked to about how like uh, none of his employees are required to have a degree in any kind of way because he thinks it's fucking useless. Like, if you're if you're smart, you're smart. Shit like that, I guess. Right. It's probably oh. make himself feel better. <gasps> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I am looking at a picture of him right now, and like his eyes also look kind of robotic. It's kind of oh, interesting. There was this meme going around of like, or not meme, I guess it was just a short video of what actually happened. Um, anyways, um, uh, someone asking Elon Musk how's his son, and like said the full name, and he's like, "Oh, you mean my son." <laughs> what you said sounded like a password. It's like <laughs> why, you named your kid that. <laughs> oh my god! Jesus Christ! I think they what he calls call him, him like around the house or X or some shit like that. Hmm. That's I so embarrassing. Give your kids well, some they, respect. I think they call him X because that was like all the jaw memes. <laughs> Like, when the kid was being born, or the kid wasn't born yet, everyone's just like, Elon's son is X. Like, XXX. Uh, (laughs) So fucking good. What's, like, what's the weirdest name you've actually, like, ever heard someone having? Like, someone you've met? Uh, (laughs) Kayla, but it's spelled Q-U-A-Y-L-A. 
Oh, what the? We quake. So I'll give you one. Shalico. Dude, Shalico. Okay. I remember Shalico. Shalico Waterbury. Oh, wow. Waterbury? <laughs> <laughs> ass name. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, it literally sounds like a comic. What the fuck? <laughs> I totally forgot about her. Jesus, what the oh, fuck is she up to that's nowadays? Cool. But uh, there was this girl in my high school. Her name was Electra Pink Star Ashbrook. <laughs> Huh? That sounds so fucking cool. What? <laughs> Pink Her middle star. name was Pink Star, dude. That's Electra, so cool. Electra, Pink Electra. Star. Yeah, like a uh, the Daredevil character Electra. Yeah, I know who you're. I know what you're saying. That's yeah. fucking badass. What? Yeah. It's 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 pronounceable, and you sound like a fucking superhero. That's amazing. Pink Star. Pink star. Like, imagine getting a fucking, like, bomber with your middle name on it like that. That looks so <laughs> fucking cool. That'll probably be your operator name. Operator name. <laughs> your op- yeah, exactly. Like, you're, <laughs> like, you're playing Seeds. Meet the new operator, Pink Star. Pink star. Oh, how'd you get that operator name? Fucking. That, I was born with name. it, actually. I was born with it, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just throw this in there. Um, s- speaking of people that I haven't heard of in a while, uh, Bella Thorne was one of them up until like, like, I want to say like two, three weeks ago when I figured out that, uh, she had sunken like super, super fucking low. I hate Bella Thorne. I can't believe how bad she is. You did? Yeah. So like. She would ba- she basically uh had like a nudeless only fans, right? And she promised at like a certain uh number or whatever, or, like a certain number of like donations, like two million dollars or some shit like that. Uh that she would finally like throw throw out a like a titty pick. And mm-hmm. so like all these people like invested into it and like made the goal happen and shit like that, and then she just deleted her OnlyFans. Oh wow. What? Yeah, Baited. literally. Baited, yeah, it's like the Doja Cat shit. You remember that? <gasps> oh <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, I was upset about that. <laughs> we I all so, were. He's like, I, I was kidding, guys. Fuck. <laughs> I'm not trying to do a titty pick right now. That's what she said. Yeah. But at least yeah. like she was That's genuine true. about it. Like she addressed it. Bella Thorne. Like I don't think she said anything about this. But oh, psych. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like. And she's so fuck like she turned into like this druggy fucking mess, and I don't think uh, she's been in yeah. anything since Shake It Up. Um, no, she look at Zendaya. She's, she's Compared to Zendaya, things. she's like, look at Zendaya. She went like Zendaya above Zendaya and beyond. Did amazing. Zendaya did and then, amazing. Bella Thorne's Malcolm down together. She's done a few like preteen movies. I think she just gets fucked and then like takes drugs in those things. Uh, I, th- I don't know. I think you might be right about that. <laughs> yeah, like she doesn't take the best roles, honestly, and like yeah. fuck her, like she's not. Like I really liked her in Shake It Up. I think she was like even more of a main character than Zendaya was, but Zendaya took the fucking route, dude. I always wondered, like, on Disney Channel, like, why they never talked about Bella Thorne, and they only ever talked about Zendaya, like, they interviewed Zendaya's parents for, like, a l- like the little commercial snippets, you know? And yeah. uh, now I know. <laughs> like, she seems like the worst eh. fucking person to talk to. Yeah. Um, so you don't know who Tin- anyone here Tana knows? Mojo. Tana Mojo, Yeah. Um, well, Love they were, relationship with her. So Tana Mojo, she's a she was I don't know if she still is, but she was a YouTuber, and she yeah. got pretty big. And her and Bella Thorne started dating for a while. What yeah, they were in a three per partner. Like they thing. were. Yeah. What? The it was both of them did. and a guy. Oh, damn. Okay. Oh. I thought it was just the two of them, and they were like all intimate and shit. But yeah, like. It seemed like Bellthorn wasn't that bad during the relationship. Like, yeah, she was still pretty trashy, but she wasn't like low, low, low. And like low, they did this, low. um, <laughs> they did um, what Tana Mojo did a music video. Like, I think she wrote the song, 
and like saying the song it was called Hefner and it was all about like Playboy oh, and shit. Hefner, yeah, and they were both in the music video and like being sexy and shit. Mm-hmm. Or I don't Bella know, Thorne was trying, trying to be. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say I don't. I've never found her attractive. Yeah, never. In Maybe my in. Life. I don't know. But yeah, I, I guess they broke up a while because this was like two yeah. two plus years ago, I think. Yeah, it's been a while. She kind of just dropped off after that. Hmm. She just took like the fucking... Like what happened with... Uh, I have a huge question. What the fuck happened to Demi Lovato? Because it looked she's like... Oh, she's she, in, like, married during... to the guy from 21 Pilots, right? Oh, wait, no, Demi Lovato. I thought you said Debbie Ryan. Oops. Mm-hmm. Debbie, Debbie Lovato. Ryan's married to oh, fucking... Oh, wait. What are the Demi Lovato's pilots? been hanging out with Tana Mojo lately. And um, oh, oh, everyone no thinks shit. that she's gonna fall off again and get back into drugs. Oh, man. Because oh, Tana right. said... Because Tana was seen hanging out with her. And then, like, the next day, she's all like, you guys aren't gonna believe what happened last night. And then didn't um, say what happened. That's just clickbait, fucking Tana. Yeah. That's all she's about. Fucking. But, um, but yeah. fucking Demi Lovato, dude, she said, um, she said it's racist to call aliens aliens. Huh? <laughs> mean, like, yeah. The alien, yeah. Like, alien outer space aliens? Like, to call extraterrestrials aliens is a racial, a racial slur or whatever. What? Like calling uh, black people the n-word. Like she has really, nothing else better to do. It than to really sucks. Drama. Cause I so unlike Bella Thorne, I really liked Demi Lovato for Sunny with a Chance. And like just knowing like how she was going down the rabbit hole of fucking drugs and shit during Sunny with a Chance, and that's why it got canceled. Like that's so fucking sad. And then she finally like does like redeeming shit. Uh she gets a she gets a part in a uh uh, fallout boy song and in uh body talks by i forget who but she did a few musical things and like i think she was in a really good spot then but then i think uh even before that she had relapsed like twice Damn. So, like, I that's honestly, a hundred just memes of her just like <laughs> like demi <laughs> lovato and like a like a big pile of crack or something like that yeah. Dive into it, it was it was some heavy shit. I think she was doing like crack or something. It was fucking wild. Hold on, was there a Nintendo DS game for Sony with a chance? There was, in fact, a oh, DS game for Sony with a Fucking, I God. can't remember. I think it was just like a platformer or something like Barbie. It was really I, weird. And like, like a Sims version of Sony with a chance. That'd be funny. <laughs> yeah. Light all of them on fire. <laughs> yeah, cut off the exit to the bathroom. <laughs> Drown them all in a big uh, pool. Yeah, take over the ladder. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's <laughs> so bad. But yeah, I mean, I think out of like the people who did get fucked up after their careers, like I think for sure Sonny was or Sonny Demi Lovato was a really big loss in my opinion. I feel like she could have done a lot better. Miley Cyrus. Although she's Miley oh, no. Cyrus Miley is stuff great. a lot. Nuts. Jesus Christ. I like her. She she's great now. She's doing but good. For now. a hot minute, she was pretty questionable. Questionable the fucking yeah. least. Jesus. She was a trailer she, park mom for a good minute. Yeah. She was fucking great. Like she hit like some yeah. kind of crisis. She went from Hannah Montana to Hannah Mon get the fuck out of here. Like, <laughs> wrecking ball? Ooh. Wrecking ball. Oh my <laughs> to that God. teddy bear thing? Whatever that yeah. was. That was she did, wait, didn't she dry hump the teddy bear or some shit like that? Yeah, I think so. Nice. <laughs> Just threw Love everyone for a fucking loop whenever she, like. God, like, I, right? Her actual father is Billy Ray Cyrus, correct? Yes. Yes, yeah. Yeah. I've, you know, I their whole I've family seen... is like talented as fuck. Oh yeah. Um Noah, her younger Noah sister Cyrus? Noah Cyrus. Honestly, she, I think she's so a better pretty. singer. And her oh, she also had a thing with Tana Mojo. Why do I know so what much about Tana fuck? Mojo? You <laughs> <He> did? <laughs> yeah. Well, they were, so every they person that thing. we think is trash just keeps going and like like <laughs> 
magnetic. Ending up with Tana Mojo. Yeah. I'm seeing a pattern here. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what well, a sus. Not gonna lie. She's a bad it's influence. Maybe oh. Tana Mojo's Illuminati. <gasps> Dude. Look at what Disney's doing. Poor girls. Don't do that to me. <laughs> Making them crazy and bisexual. I'm going to go on a <laughs> binge tonight <laughs> about <God>. Tana Mojo <laughs> theories. Tana Mojo theories. I just need to back up and fucking listen to what Kelly just said. What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> look at Disney. Look at just factoring this fucking bi with. Oh, <laughs> Wait a minute, he's on some. <laughs> Here's some drugs and an awakening. <laughs> Jesus, man. It all makes sense now. That's fucking awful. You know who, like, I think the only person who did as well as Zendaya is doing is Selena Gomez. I think Selena Gomez never really fell oh, off. Oh, yeah. Off she, she's always done but she never good. really, But she never really got off the... You know, she didn't really any higher. The latest yeah. thing I saw was she was in a Hulu show. Yeah, I, I, I watched that movie. I mean, that show. It was it was actually really good. She's, like, kind of backed away from acting to do more singing stuff. Oh, it's because yeah, she also that. has a lupus. Um, I oh. don't know exactly what it is. Someone please look it up. But I, know. I know that it, like, really affects her hands, I think. Like, there's videos of her doing her makeup for, like, Vogue and shit and oh, uh, Jesus her hands Christ, are that like, is shaking. sad. Lupus is a disease that occurs when your body's immune system attacks your own tissue and organs. Inflammation caused by loose by lupus can affect many different body systems including your joints, skin, kidneys, blood cells, brain, heart and lungs. Holy fuck. Oh no. It is a wonder she does anything. What a strong yeah. fucking girl. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. I know so much about Disney women. Yeah, fucking barely. For <laughs> this is what Aren't I Aren't you guys glad that you had a female friend? <laughs> I just find some Indonesian traditional cakes when I search lupus. Oh. And you find some skin <laughs> condition. I'm like, damn, Selena Gomez has this shit? All right. That's lit. Damn, Go <laughs> Selena. Go <Get> Selena. <laughs> <laughs> Also, oh Ashley Tisdale. She's in the same boat. Ashley Tisdale. Wait. I don't she think was, she ever did she anything ever did shit. big. She yeah, did I think she has like a family. Oh, yeah. Oh, she Very was. Super. Yeah. She's a pretty good voice actor, so I would say. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget yeah. about it because it's voice actor. Yeah. It's a little bit easier to forget yeah. that. Like, I mean, if you don't see the face just... constantly. Like Nick Cage sucks ass, but he was good in Spider Verse because I, I hate Nick Cage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, but I mean, uh, let's not forget about Mitchell Musso. Mitchell Musso, please. Yeah, he please. was um he was in Hannah Montana. He was like one of the best guy friends, and then is it Rico? He went on. No, he was the guy with like the the Justin Bieber hair. That was uh, also Musso. wasn't that her brother. No, just the Bieber hair, but black. Sorry, Ice spell thing. Musso, M U S S O, Mitchell Musso. He was in Pair of Kings. Oh, this dork. Um, he was yeah. in. Was this? I don't oh yeah, this guy was, was fucking in hilarious. Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana, 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 yeah, as Oliver, right? Yeah, I this <laughs> had a guy fat ass crush on him. <laughs> yeah, I, so I, I always loved him. In whatever he was in, and he was in Pair of Kings, but then they kicked him oh, off. Oh, I liked Pair of well, Kings. Well, he got taken off because he like got arrested or some shit for, I don't even remember. I think it had some shit to do with drugs oh. and such. And he was like, probably just smoking because he was young. Mm, I think it was more than that. Oh, I'm pretty, yeah. I'm, I feel like I remember yeah, it being a pretty yeah. big deal. Oh. But yeah, on the show Pair um, of Kings, he just like disappeared one season, and they replaced him with a ginger. I think instead, I oh, oh yeah, yeah, he ran yeah. away. This is your other twin. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one actor that like really stands out to me that are like here and now kind of thing. Was that their explanation for the show? The this is your fuck? other twin. Hector, um, no, you were like, absolutely completely wrong about that. By the way, the only what? reason he got kicked off, or no, he didn't. 
The only thing I'm, I looked up when I said when it said Mitchell Musso fucking drug abuse was he, that he got a DUI. What? Really? <laughs> yeah. You're completely off. Mm-mm. Interesting. I thought it was like um, some big drug thing. He was fucking hilarious. So, you know, uh, the guy who played Spencer in iCarly, I think he's actually in the new iCarly as well, which mm-hmm. I feel like has not gotten enough years to stay on air, which is really sad. But I mean, you should let it die, you know? Um, <laughs> I feel like he's actually doing very well for himself as well. I don't think I don't think he's done anything like stupid or anything like that. I don't think so. He's been pretty straight edge. Straight hey, edge. Who? Uh, yeah. The guy who played as Spencer. I forgot his fucking name. Uh, it's like a really Spencer. Yeah, Spencer from uh, iCarly. Oh, oh yeah, he's great. He was in the fucking reboot of iCarly, so obviously fucking yeah. he, he looks oh, enough. He has a baby now. Ready? Or... Ready, yeah. yeah. Oh, Spencer Jerry Trainer. Jerry Trainer. There you go. I, I knew he had like a very recognizable name. I yeah. just couldn't. I don't know. I thought you were talking about Freddy for whatever reason. Yeah, no, but yeah. Jerry Freddy. Trainer's still good. What happened to fucking um, Sam? Because she's not in the reboot. What the fuck happened to her? Well, yeah, I have an explanation well, for this. So Sam, uh, she had a really bad time uh, filming for iCarly. Uh, oh did. right, right, right. Yeah, because the oh. uh, the director was like the super handsy with yeah. yeah, it was very bit of like fucking. Oh, and then so when she did uh, Sam and Cat, um, Ariana Grande got paid more than her, and oh, so she was pissed off and didn't want to be a part of it anymore. I think she yeah. yeah. So she but never um, like really like fell down a hole or anything like that. It was no. really just she no. talked. Is all now she does a uh, one woman show. Really? Yeah. Or she recently like a did a one woman show. Yeah, like a theater thing. Wow, it really sounds like. She, oh Jesus Christ! It really sounds like she had like a really fucking shitty situation all around because apparently yeah, like yeah she did she talked a lot about like, what happened in her, her one whatever show <laughs> her, sorry guys sorry. need to take turns <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm just raise your hand I'm before you speak <laughs> uh yeah so apparently even outside of iCarly her mom was like one of those to like make her like starve or like throw up oh because she wanted the perfect little girl right Jesus that's so nice dude she's uh, had a bad time I feel so yeah, anorexia, fucking bulimia. Jesus Christ. Jeez. Or, um, she was so good in iCarly, too. I'm, ugh. Yeah, I, I think so she was my favorite her. character. Honestly. Yeah, genuinely. Yeah. Her her and Spencer were the best. Yeah. Especially, like, in the later seasons, I really liked them. Oh, yeah, when... when I like when Sam and Freddy started dating. Yeah, they started <gasps> yeah. dating, right? And, yeah. And, like, they actually kept dating, did they not? Um, or for no. a while. Yeah, they broke up for some reason, but I think it was like mutual or something like that. And then yeah. like it had to be mutual because of Sam and Cat, which Sam and Cat I will say was a fucking disaster. I did not like Sam and Cat. Kind of did. I did was, for a bit. It was. It was I never weird. saw it. I, I just, I just really it. didn't like the idea of like. I didn't really like Victorious either. I thought it was really. Oh, weird. I Victorious was sort of cool. I, except I for like that movies. one dude that really likes the ketchup. That show was really funny. I liked him. Uh, and Jade. Jade. Jade was in a fucking Jade was a awakening. Bad from was Jesus a bi awakening. Yeah. <laughs> she was. Is this waking something in me? Yeah. I also didn't like how her boyfriend belonged to the streets and so did Victoria. So. Wait, didn't her? Victoria didn't. No, I don't yeah, Victoria is the one that stole her boyfriend. Yeah. Well, I think it's because Jade was awful to him, though. Yeah, Jade was super toxic and controlling. Yeah. What? I and insecure. Yeah. yeah, she was awful. That was her character. They had a horrible relationship. 
If you think that's normal, I'm I always afraid. thought like they were like really <laughs> chill. Next Janelle, to each is other. everything okay at home? Okay, man. <laughs> I really like. I really genuinely don't like. I guess I didn't watch it enough to know that. But as far as I, knew, sure, I, I rewatched like, it like I don't know, start of COVID or something. Right. And you can definitely tell that her relationship is not we something got, to base yours off of. Yeah. Can we talk about uh, Victoria's dumbass fucking sister? Oh, yeah. Uh, she was Tina. Tina. That was Hector's favorite character, I guess. <laughs> no. I really never much Fuck, Tina. Didn't she end up, like, raping one of Victoria's friends? <laughs> I think it was I think it was Ketchup Boy. Like like she didn't Is have a boy date somewhere. Andre the black guy. Yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> he was he was. Um, he was, I, don't know he was I don't know about rape. Like I'm pretty but. sure like she didn't have a date somewhere and like he didn't have a date somewhere and Victoria like left them in the house to like go fucking solve the problem of the episode I guess. And then, like, she's like, I'm gonna kiss you. He's like, Don't do that. <laughs> He's like, I, I, I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's a move. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Rush, Jade yeah. was, Jade was huge. She was, she was like on par with that total drama Gwen and like Sam. Oh, and oh also a bi awakening. Heather was my All favorite. Three. I, I like her. Really? Heather became really good in the fucking bitch. second season. She was like one of the winners. I think she did win the second season. I think she won like Total oh, Drama World oh, Tour. Or something dated like that. Duncan again. I thought they were hot as hell. I the, that uh, shit was so she was hot. very uptight. Courtney. I forgot her. Courtney, it was Courtney. Yeah, Courtney. 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 I agree. Like Heather I wanted was a what they had bitch <laughs> so bad in the first season. <laughs> yeah. What was that? I mean, she's a mean bitch the entire time. She just but like, second one, <laughs> but like one the world two or one, she was humbled for some point. They, I think when her head got shaved. Yeah. Oh yeah. She reached her like bottom low, and then she like rose up to be like number one the second yeah. uh, season, yeah. which I really liked about her. Which, but like, she still deceived the fuck out of that one guy at the end of it. It wasn't even this. It was the. It was literally total drama world tour. Like that. It was the volcano. Mm-hmm. One, where they had to like build something. Oh, when they were on the plane or whatever. Yeah, and like I that, that show was a trip. It was, it was so <laughs> so weird. What the fuck <laughs> were they doing? Yeah. It was the first show I heard crap on Cartoon Network. I looked at my mom. I was like, I hope she did not fucking hear that. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! It off. I actually no. <laughs> start <genuinely>, sweating. <laughs> genuinely, no. Genuinely, my dad uh, walked in. On me watching Total Drama Island, they said crap and said, he's like, you're not allowed to watch this anymore. Like, <sighs> genuinely dead ass. My parents wouldn't let me watch Ed, Ed and Eddie. I don't know why. Yeah, I love Ed, Ed and Eddie. I watched I one episode or two of that the other day. I used to go Fuck to my best Sarah. friend's house, like, before Fuck school Sarah. and watch it at her house. It's because I couldn't have mine. Yeah. That and weird. fucking Mad. You guys remember yeah. Mad? I, I didn't did, watch yeah. that. Yeah. Mad was fucking. It was like Robot Chicken for children, but it was also like it. still Robot Chicken. It was really weird. They were like trying to do like parodies that like kids would never understood about celebrities. And it's like right. kind of. There's yeah, like a like, like a tonal thing happening. Yeah. There's mm. also a lot of like fucking. Um, Political propaganda and that shit too. Like, well, like it was still to be kids at that point. To be fair, Mad Magazine, the one from the seventies, yeah, was very was very political. political. Yeah, and that's my like, mom, like, we, I went to the CVS drugstore and I found a Mad Magazine. I was like, okay, I'll read this. And my mom was like, "We need to shred this. This is too much." And I watch her shred my fucking Mad my Magazine. <laughs> Did you cry? Aww. I was kind of like, Mom, look at this. And she's like, let me see that. I was kind of compliant because I didn't know what the fuck it was. (laughs) I watched her fucking shred it. (laughs) Jesus. Um, Jesus Christ. I want to circle back to, um, you brought up Jerry Trainer. Yeah. 
Um, so what was it? I think the start of COVID, how like everyone was like, you know, quarantine, staying at home. Um, he did, I don't know if it was a live video, but he made a YouTube video of him cooking from scratch spaghetti tacos in his own home kitchen. That is so goddamn wholesome. Holy it was fuck. It was honestly pretty entertaining. <laughs> And that like is, it was funny because he didn't that, know man. how to cook. Like he never cooks, and he's just fucking figuring it out and fucking fumbling everything. It was pretty good. It was Jerry, nice to see that he didn't fall down a fucking drug hole. <laughs> Jerry Jerry Trainer did the whole uh, thing with uh, Butch Hartman, where like he was like on Butch Hartman's podcast or something like that, and just talking about how, about how many characters Jerry Trainer has been in any of his series. Is, like tough puppy and like fairly odd parents and fucking loved him and Drake and Josh. <laughs> yeah. He, he, oh yeah. He's really good. <laughs> yeah, Josh. Crazy Steve. Yeah. Speaking of Drake though. He's he uh, changed he's his in last now. name. Yeah. To Drake, whatever Bell is in Spanish. I should ask Alan. Yep. I don't know if he yeah. sings in Spanish or if he just he's uh, oh. but he just really appeals to them more than America, so he moved there. Yeah, Drake from Drake and Josh. Know. I was thinking of like, yeah. Yeah. I was thinking of regular Drake. No. <laughs> I was like, I, I can see how that's misleading. <laughs> I so I don't know if you guys know everything that happened with him though. He endangered oh. a child. Uh, he was something. a pedophile or some shit My like goodness. that. Oh, right. He was a that pedophile. Maybe and that's why like, no one uh, in America accepts him. Oh, my God. He no, was not, a not Drake, child or something. Fuck it, we're talking about Drake Bell. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, oh, both oops. Drakes apparently are pedophiles. Wait, seriously? <laughs> yeah, Drake. No, Drake listen. People are sus of him. And, um... <laughs> Fuck, what's her name? Uh, uh, Billy Bobby Bobby Brown. Millie Bobby Brown, yeah. You are so so sexy. That's what you'd say. Wait, was was Drake the one that said no? Was Drake the one that said I'm lesbian too or some shit? Oh yeah. Girl, you say you're lesbian me too. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Oh my fucking god. Dude, everyone's a fucking pedophile. I swear. It's crazy. Yeah, it's it is awful. actually crazy. I don't know if it's people like, are just trying celebrity? to find the shit. Something's in the water over there, I think. <laughs> Something's in the water. And all <laughs> it's called pedo juice. Pedialyte. <laughs> or maybe all these people are in no. the Illuminati, and the way they get kicked out is by being turned into a pedophile. Oh. Wait, it's like if you turn into a celebrity, you get a, fl- like a coin flip or drug addict or pedophile. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> or both. Sometimes, a, a lot of times, it's both. The coin would land on its side. The coin, the coin lands vertical. straight vertically. Yeah, and you succeed. You're you both. ever see that? You ever see that scene from South Park with the economy, where like they just cut the head off of a chicken and have it like run around in this little circle, like the Wheel of Fortune, and like the, whatever its body lands on is what they do next for the economy. Oh. Uh. Oh. And like that's that's basically what you're talking about with the fucking Hollywood thing. Oh. Are you gonna be a are you gonna be a pedophile? Are you gonna be a fucking fucking drug addict? Are you gonna be like Mr. Beast level fucking supportive? Or are you gonna be a piece of shit? Like wasn't Josh a piece of shit? Or is he a piece of shit? No. No. A- I think he's just a dick. I don't think he's done anything, but I think he's just a like, dick. You mean in real life? Yeah. No, he's awesome. He um he did David Dobrik. He like, yeah, he hung out with David Dobrik a shit ton. One who is toxic, but and a pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> and a oh pedophile. my god. <laughs> yeah, but we don't need to get into that. No, Josh is a pretty cool guy. Like he has a he has a podcast too, and I used to listen to it a bunch. Um mm. he's tried acting stuff. Like he was in a remake of Red Dawn, like I don't know. Oh like, yeah. Years ago Ugh, horrible movie. He's in a couple other small things, and then he's in this new show that just went on Disney Plus like a couple weeks ago. Oh, Turner Nooch. 
Yeah, Turner and Hooch. It's just a remake um, of the Tom Hanks movie. Yeah. But yeah, he's still well, doing stuff. He's not like a bad guy or anything. He's just a little more low key. I just remember like there's like shit a while back where like someone just talked about like meeting him in real life was like so underwhelming because he was actually a dick. Maybe he was know. having a bad day. All right. Yeah. Well, I think that was like right around the same time. Uh, what's his fuck was doing like the Fairly Godparents movie, like as Timmy. Oh. So, like they were comparing <laughs> like how successful true. he's doing right. and like how he's still in versus Josh just being a dick or some shit like that. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> Josh, um, do you see Drake? He's in the Fairly Odd Parents movie. What are you doing? Shut the fuck up. Your fucking mom. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, like man. that. Like, when is that movie ever relevant? <laughs> it's really ever. not. Except for it wasn't Trixie. It was what's her? What was her name? The one uh, that was obsessed with Timmy because she was. Wait, wasn't that Victoria's fucking sister in that movie? <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh my god! Oh, it true. Comes full circle. Holy Trudy. Shit. Her name is Trudy. 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 Mm-hmm. Trudy was nice. She was better like than animated. She was no. She was 11 years old in the show. Wait, 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 wait. You're turning into a... What the fuck? Oh, uh, you put the coin. I think no, I'm turning. turning. Oh, I'm turning. I can't contain what's inside. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's so fucking bad. Um, <laughs> yeah, so... Um, I just lost my train of thought. You know, I'm a fucking just... I'm gonna fucking switch it up altogether. Um, we need to talk about this because we only have like ten minutes to talk about this. Hector, whip it out. Whip out the fucking <laughs> porn list. <laughs> oh shit! You yep. sure we have enough time? We have ten minutes, and I think that's just enough time to laugh about it and be done. You're saying we're at fifty right now? We are at or an what? hour and one minute. All right. Oh. Okay. So, for all you that don't know what we're talking about so i i shouldn't be putting this online on the internet <laughs> for the world to know but well, i have a honk. <laughs> i mean i'd rather my mom didn't know about this you know yeah. <laughs> so i have a quote-unquote porn list on my phone it's and it's literal. so so just just you know Basic explanation of it, if I'm, you know, having some of my personal time, you know, and I happen to see a video or a star that I like, and I want to remember <laughs> it and go back to it, I'll write down the name of the girl that's in it, or or the name of the video, and, and I'll go back to it a later time, see if they have other content that tickles my fancy i don't fucking know uh, i was really hoping you were gonna say fancy thank god <laughs> <laughs> um I don't know. all right well hector is Wait. it is it in like a specific order like do you have this like as a tier list no. like a number one go to or no 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 it's just like timeline like people is there just is time. there one that you find yourself going to more than others um honestly i don't really go to it all that much um, like, I'll just go to, like, recent ones that I put. Like, the ones at the top, I haven't really looked at in a long-ass time. Is there any way um, of knowing, like, how many you have on the list? I can count them right now. Go ahead. I, you want me to read through them all? Oh. Yes, <laughs> yes, actually. Well, okay. <laughs> Names, uh, titles, actors, everything. Okay. Um, Same. I don't really have any titles, actually. Bummer. You the list. Um. I have, um, I have a Twitter link to this one cosplayer girl, um, and I have the link to the to a Bell Delphine video. (laughs) (laughs) Oh shit! All right, so actresses: Layla Severine, uh, Penelope Reed, Lulu Chu, Savannah Six, Jasmine Gray. Vina Sky, Ray Lil Black, Brenna Sparks, Jade Kush, Sharon Lee, Kimmy Granger, Maya Mona, Serena Santos, Leilani Lay, Autumn Falls, India Rose, 
Sonny and Raven, which I think is a couple, uh, Brandy Braids, uh, Bailey Bass, Dara Love, Vanessa Sky, Kylie Rocket, Nicole Bexley, Yumi Jesus Sins, Christ. These fucking and, names are nuts. And Molly Redwolf. That's the last one. Ooh, can I recommend? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Up, I, I know. Uh, I know. Vanessa Vega. I know one of yours, Alyssa. Um, like the title of the oh, video or whatever. Right? Oh wait, um, that one. naive girl or <laughs> naive. whatever. Yeah, the and then key word was naive key word. girls, and it was yeah. the one in the yellow dress. Pops up every time you look. <laughs> I've seen, time. I have seen, uh, Molly Redwolf. I had a feeling like, you around, would. But, like, <laughs> I knew you would know that one. <laughs> I've seen her around. I never knew her name. Uh huh. It's interesting that she cosplayed as like uh, uh the shark one, the shark streamer. The shark streamer. Oh yeah, yeah the lolly Gura, one. Gara, Gara, mm. Gura, something yeah, like Gura. that. Yeah, Gura. Uh huh. So yeah, um, yeah, I was that... trying to like, oh, she did the Samsung girl. That's why I fucking know her. Oh, she did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't really know. Fast. Um. I don't know if she did that one trend. What was it? The one that was on TikTok not long ago. The Jack um, pose. The one with the like Egyptian girl. I forget the name of it. Oh, Anka. Anka. Anka yeah. Oh no. She, I don't I know think if she, she did actually that or not. did do that. I think she was like the pioneer of that. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> like I think she made a whole video, like well, oh, not, wow. f- not fully recreating it, but you know. Right. But, uh, it's really just like doing it normally, but like twisting like side to side it seems interesting. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's my list. Um, <laughs> questions, concerns? <laughs> I don't know. Um, Does no one else read, have a list? Read like read like three before uh, Molly Redwolf. Um, Who is want me to read my favorites? Your favorites. Go ahead. I think I like I really like Brandy Braids. Um Braids. I think I liked Serena Santos <laughs> quite a bit. <laughs> oh yeah, he's, you like he's doing a full time um, Braids, huh? Slow down, I'm trying to write. I liked Brandy Braids <laughs> because of her <laughs> acting <laughs> specifically. Is she just like really stupid? No, no, like she sells it. She Oh, like, like it seems like, like actually weird. like authentic and real. I think. Can pull this up on fucking Twitter. Um, Let's take a look here. Yes, view. Vanessa Sky, I think. Serena Santos. I think one of these girls is like an old ass lady. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it was a weird phase. You want Granny to take her teeth out? <laughs> Give me yeah. a dog. Don't knock it till you try it. She'll give you a gummy smile. She, this chick, <laughs> oh god, this I chick think... has like promotions for her OnlyFans, which is fine, but she's promoting it like it's a fucking update from fucking Instagram. Like you know how they do like the little Instagram story anytime they update it with like new shit. I <laughs> think mm-hmm. that's what it looks like. This time only, just sold a VIP fan club subscription. Good job. Custom vid yeah, sold. So what the fuck? It's like nothing oh, yeah. that like shows me. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Look up Leilani Lay. <laughs> Leilani Lay? Yeah. It's L E I L A N I and then L E I for the Lay. Uh, that is on Facebook. I don't want that. You can do it on the actual website or just Google Images. I did not get the same person as you. Yeah. Uh, spell Leilani again. L E I N A N I space. No, N L E I N A N I space. L E I. Leilani Lay. Boy. Not le- la- wait, wait. not Leilani Lay. It's Leilani. Leilani. No, it's Lay. 
Having so oh, much trouble. E I L. Oh, I guess I missed an L. But yeah, she it, comes up. Fucking. I don't know I, if I want to look at images. Uh, look at images. I'm, I'm like nothing I'm, like raunchy comes up. I'm it's super just, just fucking who's his granny? <laughs> it's the granny. <laughs> <laughs> what does she do for you? I, <laughs> what, what was the appeal, <laughs> man? <laughs> I I don't I don't know. I don't know. I think her acting was good and I don't know. She doesn't really look good in the Google images. But in the videos like she looked like a decent looking granny. It's the tits that make it, huh? Wait, is Lay Lonnie was a... Lay? Is she the one that's always in like the uh not Bang Bus, but like the fu- Bang Bros maybe? I or, have like... no idea. Oh, fuck. She has like gray fucking hair, I think. Yeah, she has gray hair. Have you not found her yet? No, because he fucking spelled oh it God. wrong. Still, you missed an L. Buddy. She st- still comes up with the without the L. Yeah, I'll just do that. Yeah, she didn't come up for me. Yes, I think I know who this is. Oh my goodness! <laughs> the, oh, <laughs> what in the uh, fuck is the wait? 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 Go back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not looking at the no. Look at that bottom one, where the, the bottom. Yeah, bottom. yeah. Holy shit! God, did you see the appeal? <laughs> what the fuck did she do for you, dude? Man, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Shall we go directly to the source? <laughs> no, no, no. My, I don't Good think we need to do. God. That. If you do, like if you play something, I'm gonna get the audio. I can't fucking watch. <laughs> Gee, what is that fucking granny? Jesus Christ! Do you see the ad right there? I am not looking at the ad. Ad? <laughs> <No>. ad. <laughs> that's not a granny. That's just a girl with silver hair. No. Oh Jesus. Like, yeah, I don't know about that. What in the are, fuck kind of hospital is that? Like, right? What's with the screwdriver? The, the fucking drill power drill, bro. <laughs> oh, this man God. making moves. <laughs> oh my God. You fucking make King Kong. What the hell? Okay, okay, we're done with that. <laughs> yeah, we're, that's enough for that. Um, I was going to do the other thing, but we talked about uh, the fucking Lizard Lord in Long Moss for quite a while, so we should probably wrap it here. God. We all chill with that? Yeah, I'm good with that. God damn. Alright, well, thank you guys for joining us for another episode of Camping Buddies. Uh, This one has been pretty fucking good, honestly. Uh, We hope to... We hope you guys listen to the next one. Uh, Hopefully we'll post it next week. If not, you know that we're just, like, super fucking busy. And have to do a lot of other shit. Um... Also, hopefully, we'll be getting some face cams eventually. Hope uh, at least Hector, uh, going for that, and uh, yeah, just let us know any way we can improve. Uh, show your fucking friends. Tell them uh, Hector's porn list is questionable. Uh, Please do not tell anyone about my porn list. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure your sister listens to this fucking. No. Podcast. <laughs> show your bedridden grandma. She'll love it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no. We'll let her know who she can talk to. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think that's good. Let's let's end it. Alright. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for listening. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye. Oh. <laughs>